Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. This amazing story today, a Russian couple that fled their country to avoid the Ukraine war, has been given hope for a new life right here in Acadiana. News 10's Zane Hogue was with the couple when they heard the news that changed their lives. Zane joins us now live in the studio with our top story. Zane. Hey, Darla and Dalfred, seven months after fleeing from Russia to the United States, Anton Lukin and his wife were finally told Acadiana can become their home. Ah, I'm still nervous, <laughs> so I can't understand what I'm feeling right now. Relief. <laughs> Very relieved. Anton Lukin and his wife fled from Russia after Lukin was drafted to fight in the war in Ukraine due to his experience as a police officer. Lukin spent weeks trying to find out how to avoid the fight that he did not believe in. Then help arrived when Port Barry police officer Brad Tate allowed the Lukins to stay at his home if the couple could get to America. When Russian police started looking for Lukin, he knew there was no chance he could go back. So we just had to prove to the court that if he goes back today, he will be put in prison and either sent to the front lines where uh, there's a high possibility that he would um, die in battle or um, that he would be in prison for his political views and his, his anti-war stance. Today, the Lukins found out if their asylum case is approved, a day that was months in the making. It was just a long waiting, like, you know, as uh, people in Russia say, like, uh, the death is much better than time of death. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the same, that waiting always hard. <laughs> it was rough. It was, it was very rough. You know, just the unknown, having that thought in the back of your head of, you know, if they don't get approved, what's going to happen when, you know, if they were to be expelled from this country. But that won't be happening, because they can now begin the road to citizenship. It's a great relief. I'm glad that they were approved. Um, now we can just move on to the next step. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know what to feel like. I was still nervous, but I was happy and <laughs> that the two feelings just coming together and you don't know what to do. <laughs> now moving forward, Lucan hopes to work towards his new goal of joining his friend at the Port Barry Police Department. I'm Zane Hogue for KLFY News 10.